these screens. We're going to be talking about the uh, Advanced Ambient Light Rejection Acoustic 38 Black Widow. So, this right here is a physical screen. So, it's a blackout cloth material coated with our Advanced Ambient Light Rejection 38 Black Widow technology. This allows sound to travel through the surface. Oh, here's his collar. Sorry about that. My cat's collar came off him. I bought a new one already, trying to figure out what that one is. It's walked over top of it. Took it off. All right, so let's get back to business. This is the surface right here. So you have several options on how you can utilize the so surface already pre-coated. You don't have to paint it. You just take it out of the uh, uh, um, packaging. Uh, it's attach it to one of those photo uh, background metal drop stands. You can attach it to your wall, have a section of my wall where I can hang it up with just four screws. That's basically about it. Or you can basically just um, staple it to a frame, which I have mine stapled to a frame here. And I have another one over here at 148 inches over here. Now that one's on ultra short throw. This one's on long throw. Do you have to spend a lot of money for a projector to use the technology? No, you do not. Long since a name brand projector, Something that we support, which you can find out what we projectors we support on the website. Um, you can go in from there and you can figure out if your projector is on that list. Now, this is the front version of it. We have the rear version of it upstairs. Okay, a minute. We'll fire this off. Now, projector we use in this demonstration, I said before, I spent a lot of money for projectors. This is a 600 by 800 720p projector, SPGA, basic projector, uh, ViewSonic that's attached to my ceiling right over there. And that projector cost me 150 bucks. Um, if you buy it off of uh, Amazon, brand new, $300 the so most of the cost you. That's it. And this boss, no calibrating, none of that nonsense. I didn't do any calibrating with my projector. That's it. My projector sits about 18 feet away from my screen. My screen, when the um, daytime hits in, uh, it sits, as you see, it sits in a, a bay of windows. There's no black curtains or none of that to block any of the light coming through. And my project, my screen is a customized 127 inch 1610. I had a few people asking on a forum site about why is the screen 1610? Why not? It does 1610 and 235.1. It's a borderless black screen, which means I can adjust to any size that I want. I can even do 235 on here if I choose to. Uh, Menu. Let's go down to my displays. Menu again. My option here. go and boom my settings are for 235.1 that's all i got the other option of this projector too it does have a 235.1 setting in the projector to allow you to 235 that's why i particularly love the view sonics the most because of that one option in there that you usually won't get from any other projector and i own quite a lot of projectors including some extremely high powered venues this is the only one in the house that has a 235.1 and it cost me 150 bucks So because of the border is black, because the border is black, it doesn't make a difference. When I had the lights out, you can't see the borders. The borders can blend right in. The only thing you see is the 235.1 setting. So I have the option to change out my screen at will. Now, if this was a gray screen, kind of use a 235.1 with the board at the top, the board at the top and the bottom, not going to go so well because you have to turn jet black to blend in. It's like they're not even there. That's why if you buy a gray screen, I'll be honest, you buy a gray screen at a 235.1, what they do is they give you a curtain. They give you this kind of blackout cloth curtain to put to the top and the bottom to make the bar, to make this part disappear so you can still use it in a 235.1 setting. You don't have to worry about that with black technology. 
All right, so let me go switch this back to where I had it at because I am going to be watching some other TV shows today. There we go. Put that back to where it is. All right, so let's go upstairs and show you the rear projection part of this technology. As I said before, this blackout cloth circuit has both front and rear. Now, if you're going to be using this for uh, rear projection, we advise you to use short, the ultra short, ultra short though projectors only, due to the fact that you don't want to get that lamp glare. It's going to push to the screen and smack you in the face. So let's go and show you the other part of it. My cat hasn't taken my open door as an invitation to go in my room and mess with stuff. All right. So this right here is the rear projection part of it. So yes, the screens are both front and rear technology. And I got this all the way up. I have a position bar on my projector where I can bring it down some, but I decided to have it all the way up as high as possible in the ceiling to take on as much light as possible. So we're in the process of actually unpacking this. We're breaking this down. Hmm, sorry about that. Breaking this down and putting this in a box. This is for a company. This is not for sorry, so this is a customer's uh, screen right here. Now mind you, when you're using a rear projection, you're gonna have to change everything over to mirror mode. That's how it works. You're not gonna be, I even had a customer at one point where we had the plexiglass uh, products. And a customer really thought, and I tried to explain to them, no, you can't do both front and rear at the same time, because you're gonna get a mirror mode on one of them. But he literally thought that you could do front and rear on both sides, like that's first impossible. There's nothing out there that does that, nothing. First impossible, but anyway, yeah, so when you're doing this with ultra short with, uh, with rear projection, we do advise you use an ultra short throw projector only due to the fact you're going to have a very minimum amount of lamp glare slamming you in the face. That's a projector right there. Now, you see all that white light in the back reflecting? That's the light reflecting off the white wall because the walls back there are super white. If you want to kill that effect altogether, you just take some black fabric, put it on the back of the screen, back, back there, black fabric on the back, and that way when it, when it reflects back, it's going to cancel all that out. And the way to get rid of that effect. Like I said, if you're doing this for outside, you're not going to see any white light reflecting off. We're seeing white light reflect off because, like I said, in the back of our walls are bone white and they reflect a lot of light. But, like I said, if you're using this inside, if you want to kill that effect right there, do the rear projection. Um, I don't see a lot of people doing rear projections inside. But anyway, if you're going to be doing a rear projection for um, for out for, for inside, uh, just put a piece of black fabric in the back of that. And that basically will cancel that out. Or if you have it against a black wall, we'll cancel that out. Because, like I said, that's what happens when projectors hit white wall. They reflect light back at you. Now, if you're using this for DJing, like a DJ effect, this is going to be fantastic. Lights flashing up on the back of that screen. I don't think anything would ever cut anything through. Yeah. 
Usually they're not gonna have lights in the same area where the screen's gonna be at. Copyright free DJ visual effects music. So this is for those of you that are going to be using these screens for DJ. We already have the DJ already ordered one of these for his setup. Um, we're going to be posting, we're going to have a site where we be posting companies onto our website. Um, also too, it's like a vice versa. They post us, we post them uh, to our site to show our technology. You know what I mean? They're going to show stuff like that affiliated with our screens and stuff like that. So yes, we're going to be doing pretty soon. Where's the music at? That's a copyright free music. I can't see the custom race because it's private, but yeah, I'm gonna have to play with your screen a little bit more, man. I'm having a ball with this thing. I'm shipping it out today. Don't worry. I just ordered one for myself. Oh, we're gonna definitely play through. I haven't played with the rear projection on this technology yet. I'll order myself one. I think I'm gonna do a uh let me see how big one I want when I want one. I like the 150. 150 is just cool. I'm gonna do 150 for myself. Why not? Might as well. This thing is so much fun. I'm telling you, I love this technology. You always find something new with it. Line it. Yeah. 
You gotta remember everything is in reverse, so you kind of gotta guess it all. You can switch it over. It has an option to switch everything over. Just not, I need this projector for something else. Copyright free visual music. Getting that from YouTube. Sound too copyright. Is that copyright free? Oh, it is copyright free. Gotta read it off first. Getting a rear projection technology. Our oh, screens do a lot of stuff. Right now, we got DJs buying these up. So you have to use an ultra short throw projector. You don't want the lamp glare glam to pierce to hit you in the face. My projector behind her is 3,600 lumens. So if it can't penetrate through this screen at 36, everything else is going to run with no problem. Copyright free music on there. So, those of you who can understand that, this is invisible black technology straight onto this surface. The reason why that surface can see white light coming through it because the technology we spray on it allows it to be able to register white light. So again, to the other individuals who think the screens are so dark, that's going through a black screen. Boom, boom, boom. And it can register white light the other side, right through it. Without basically penetrating that lamp glare. Let me see what else I got on here. I'm gonna ball with this. Oh, definitely. I'm definitely gonna be designing one of these for myself. I'm gonna set a whole booth up. So what we have right now, I gotta get cracking because I gotta be on the website today. We're going to be doing a section on our website where we got companies that are going to be, we, we advertise for them, they advertise for us, they post our page, we post our page. That's what we're going to be seeing. So you're going to be seeing some pages with companies popping up. And these are companies, people who have distribution contracts to us, stuff like that, which I got to get cracking on. Because so I was supposed to have been at that page up. Let me see that here. Our music we got here is copyright free, so we should get the copyright free music. Yeah, you, know, you can watch movies, That's all that, everything. By using pulp certified by the Forest Stewardship Council. This is not going to be visual. Copyright free music, visual equalizer effect. Getting that from YouTube. 
see. Our branch is all reversed. I'm reading this whole thing and they're the inverse. Definitely hooking up a karaoke machine. We're getting one. Mine is acoustic, so that means you can have your speakers, you can have your um your ultra short door projector set up in the back. All that sound's going to push right through the screen while the effect is going off at the same time. So the reason why I like this system with this rail system right here, because you can also attach your speakers right here and here using the uh, rail. Um, you got pull brackets that you can connect the speakers on the end. Run your ultra shirt though with the stand. Do your whole thing with your DJ booth in the front. That's it. You're good to go. And with the rail, you can put your um, your strobe lights on the top or the bottom. No problem. Remember, these screens are designed to cancel out light. The light you're seeing reflecting is the light that's coming off the white end of the screen and reflecting off the wall. So if you're in a club scene anyway, that's just going to give you more of an effect anyway. Stuff, man, this is the reason why when I get up in the morning, man, it's like a kid in the candy store. Every time I get it, there's always something new to be working with with this stuff. Visual, visual, audio, visual, green. Exactly like. All right, let me see. Um, we got here. I gotta look at this because everything is in reverse on the screen. So there's a way to change it over. I'll show you how to do that. Let's see. Um, audio. Making uh, friends and getting busy. I like to keep my enemies close. Make mm, friends with small company. Being jet black again. Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe After Effects yeah. CC. No, 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 no. But the screen's being black, it's a better way to hide the visual effects. We're going to show you how you can create audios. What's going on? All right, here we go. Firestick's over here, give me a hard time. I just said no. We got here. Let me see. Visual effects audio. We got our copyright free. Let me see, you guys look like copyright for this. Okay, this will work. Okay, music is that shit this thing? Let's see what's going on with this. No music. Hip hop, copyright free. Getting that from YouTube. Right here. I want the visual effects with it too. That's what I want. Let me see. Visual effects, copyright free, hip hop. Getting that from YouTube. Where we got here? Let's see. All right. If I'm simply asking for visual effects, copyright free. Where's the music? That means when you see something pop off that has no sound that's connected to it, that means they were using something they weren't supposed to be using. Apparently, using somebody else's music. That's why it's not there. 
Let's do this one. Here goes. Yeah. That usually happens. I've seen that a couple of times in some of the videos. Music is missing. So you know what, just get this done, show them what does rear projection. Cause like I said, I got a few DJs up on the form site that's interested in using the technology. You know how cheap this is for them? At $341 for a 150 inch screen, this is a big screen. Mine, this screen's not fully expanded. It's actually wrapped around the frame. It's wider than this. 150 inches are huge. I got one outside of my backyard and I got one downstairs on the floor. That thing, these things are huge. For them to get a, 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 a surface that they can do that rear projection on cost a lot of money. And yes, they try to use black fabric and black film and all that, it doesn't work. It doesn't transfer that white light. And on top of that, difficulty transferring sound. That's why I got speakers on the outside. This technology right here, you can throw your speakers, projector, everything behind the back of the screen, have your roof up in the front, that's it, you're done. You're talking about at 150, 150 inches at 341? Yeah. They pay thousands of dollars. This is where I'm about to sign off because I'm past time here. I gotta keep everything at a certain time, people. Yesterday went way over time. This is new. Remember, I gotta read everything from backwards. Uh, two months ago. You work with enough projectors. I've worked over projectors over 12 years. You can literally read stuff backwards because keep in mind, you know, you work with projectors all the time and you're switching them back over from front, front, for front uh, rear and, and back rear, you literally can start reading stuff backwards. Like I can literally read stuff upside down because I'm used to having projectors and, and usually going into the menus and operating because usually if I get a projector, chances are someone had to hang it from a ceiling. So when it gets over here, it's not even positioned right. So I got to basically go in and position it where it has to be at. Sometimes it's desk front, sometimes it's desk back, sometimes it's desk rear. And I'm used to reading the menu upside down. Get used to it. People, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, we didn't show up that part of it much, but yeah, it, it has, the technology has rear projection capability. You have to use, I think we have it there in the description. I think it does in the description. Yeah, but we do have to check my description on the website. But if you're using it, you have to use it with a short throw projector right there. So that's what you're gonna need. Guess how much that projector cost me, ladies and gentlemen? That projector cost me 60 bucks. That's my NEC projector sitting back there. The one I have downstairs on the table that does the display of the floor, yes, 60 bucks. Again, you're spending too much money for projectors at the end of the day. I think you're spending money for all these expensive 4K, whatever. You don't have to spend that money. Save it. 
If you want to buy 4K, buy 4K. I mean, it's up to you. But at the end of the day, you don't have to spend. It's not something you have to do. I have some people say, oh, you have to have 4K or you have to have 1080p in order to get an amazing image. Blah, 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 blah. When the Mr. Sun pops his head up, guess where we're going to be at? Over here. We're at next to the window with what? This projector over here that cost me $109. Again, you don't spend all this money. If people have the same or higher advanced projector here, we'll try to hit this screen and these windows and that screen will wash out. The color will wash out, contrast will wash out. And the first little thing is I gotta darken my curtains, I gotta get ambient light controlled environment, and I'm gonna have to spend more money for a projector, which means that their black levels are failing on the screen horribly. They're gonna think, well, maybe I gotta buy me a projector with a higher contrast ratio. Guess what? Your price tag just jumped up by a whole lot. A whole lot. Maybe you may think because your colors are poor, let's get something with a better color capabilities. And price tag is jumping up even more, even higher. Or maybe it's not bright enough because, you know, the window light's interfering with the screen. Then you're going to buy something with higher alarms and then the jump price tag is going to jump again. So now you're looking at maybe an $800, $900, $1,200, $1,300. And depending on how high your contrast level is going to be, a couple thousand dollars. Easily. <sighs> too much money, people. Way too much money. As a matter of fact. I'm gonna hook up my PS4. I want to a little different. I go and shop. My customers go in and shop. They don't go through that nonsense. They go to eBay. And go, huh? I'll take that projector right there for 100 bucks, 150. For me, to, for me to buy an advanced projector for this second, because it doesn't need it. Trust me, there's a fantastic one, 720p. If I want an advanced projector to blow up on my screen, 500 bucks. So I gotta spend under 500. A basic. Not a basic, a, uh, a venue projector, 5,000 women. That's all I got to hit. 5,000. That's it. A 5,000 projector is a pretty powerful projector. Just put on one of these screens. And mind you, that projector will be from 2012. It'll be an old projector. A projector that usually your person is going to be spending money for 4K or whatever. Now you don't think about even touching. But I've seen your screens. Trust me, I have seen your screens. I'm in four different form sites right now as we speak. I've seen the screens. Beautiful setups, gorgeous setups, love them. But when it comes to the projection screen, ugh, no. No, not for that money you just paid for that machine sitting up there. You got a twenty, thirty thousand dollar machine sitting up there on your twenty five, twenty five. I told you you can run twenty five thousand up with these projectors, JVCs especially. JVCs are crazy expensive. And your screen looks like that at the end of the day? Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. All right. Uh, for those of you who want information on the pre on the pre coded the pre coatings are already painted already. This is something you just take out of the box. Uh, you can hang it up if you want to the wall. I got one of these up here set up with the pegs here, here, here. For one, I can hang this right to the wall with no problem. Or if you want, you can get one of these frames I have here. I'm going to put the links below. No, I forgot. The frame right here is like $105. You just put up there with a couple of these clamps if you want. The screen does have grommets. So if you want to use grommet system with uh, zip ties, it depends on how you want to hook it up. If you're using this for DJing, hey, I would suggest just basically use the clamps and take it down. And this whole thing can be busted down in no time at all. All this comes apart, take it all, throw it on the bag, be done with it, and move on. But anyway, um, like I said, and already pre-coated. Now we got them in 100 inches, 120, 150. Those you've been asking for customized sizes, we don't do customized sizes. That's the biggest we make is 150 inches on it. That's basically about it. Um, other than that, yes, it doesn't make a difference. You can, as long as the projector is name brand. Oh, we're going to be doing this today, too. I forgot. Where are we at? I keep forgetting to pick this thing up. I'm shaking your food. Hey, taco! Taco! I'm going to show you how to get an entire an entire theater system for 650 bucks. Just throw that money. What are you throwing this money for? To begin with, way too much money. 650 bucks. Whole system. Sound bar, projector, wallpaper screen, even the fire stick. You need the fire stick. Cat trunk, tropical fish. Now, today we're going to be doing some demonstrations on the knockoff projector. This is a projector I bought for eBay. 
At the time when I paid for it, I paid $95. This projector right here claims to be 15,000 lumens. Oh, 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 oh. Impossible. You know the lamp of a 15,000 lumen projector? It's quite huge. Way bigger than this. Anyway, not bigger than this, probably about, yeah, about that much. That's pretty good size. But anyway, so we're going to basically hit our screen to one of these. What will happen? Will it produce an image? Oh man, the outcome is going to be pretty bad. I've got some pictures of a projector of a customer using a Bowmax, a Bow, Bow Maker? It's Bow Maker, right? Bow Maker Ultra 4K projector. It's a $3,100 projector, quite expensive. So we have pictures. Uh, this is the customer I had to send over the customized product too because his projector does not work on our product. This is why we tell you and we advise you. We have all that information on the page. Please read through it. Re at least read through the projector section, at least, please. Because if you do this, mind you, under our, our, our policy, we don't got to ship you out, Jack. It's right there. That's like if someone says, hey, road is out. Don't go through the road. And you go through it anyway and you smash your vehicle up or get killed. You can't sue anybody at the end of the day because you know why? There's a big sign saying that, hey, road is closed. Don't go through it. And you went through it anyway. Maybe you thought you had Dukes of Hazzard syndrome. You could jump it, put it on whatever. Anyway, we have it there. That policy is on every single shopping cart. It is right there for you to see. So we advise you to read through this before going in and buying the paint so you can see if your projector is compatible. But we have some people who don't even read the, boom, hit the shopping cart, get it, get it home, paint it up, and then they contact us and say, hey, look, your screen paint's not working. How many videos do we do on this, people? We even have a section on our website alone by itself. For At the end of our site, which says more, click on that, and you will see all the information. You'll see customers who basically uh, have used um, the, what's that projector called? The Wemax, uh, Valva projectors. They don't work on the screen paint at all, period. So the Bowmaster, we got the, the guy came and he painted the screen. You see our screen paint, you see our batch number on the bottom of it. Uh, first thing he said was maybe the batch was bad. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. That's why we have a batch number, people. There you go. See how God thinks ahead of everything else. The batch number. So we show him the batch number, the paint out, so he knows it's not that. So then he said he thinks it's, like, not first when he showed me the screen, I was like, good gracious, why is the screen so freaking dark? Like, they're not supposed to be that dark at all, period. Something's wrong. That thing should have popped right next to the window, especially the projector he was using. We, the projector, he didn't tell me what the projector was, but judging by him looking at this black unit sitting on the floor, I'm thinking maybe it's an Epson or maybe a P2 or something like that. I think it's maybe one of those. 150 inch motorized projection screen. Um, and he goes in and he paints the screen in. I'm looking at it. He has the screen laying down, how he paints it, he's showing the container. I'll show you the pictures, all that. So we had a real nice dude, real nice dude, real nice guy. Not, not, didn't argue or nothing, real nice guy. And he understood everything that was going on. That's why we just want to help him out with this. But anyway, so he goes in and he hits the projector. He comes back, he sends me all these pictures. And these are, the white levels are really bad. Uh, too dark. The screen's going to really crazy dark. I'm like, what the freak is wrong with the screen? Because over here, like I said, we're firing up with no problem whatsoever and all the demonstrations we have. Because I'm showing them customer demonstrations and stuff like that. And as we're talking through it, he's saying, well, it's kind of too dark. I said, what are your settings in your projector? So he goes into the settings of his projector. Look at him. Everything is perfect. Like, we can go below factory settings and still pick up. So I'm like, okay, I don't know what's going on here. So we're figuring it can't be a defective product. The paint works perfectly fine. It picked up perfectly in the, on, the, um, on the batch. What's causing the screen to come up so dark? And then I ask, what's the name of your projector? And he goes, oh, it's a bow, mat, a, bow, a bow maker. We don't support those. That's why it didn't come up. That screen paint will not register on a fake projector. If your projector is fake, that screen paint can't pick up. So that's why the images were coming up the way they were. There you go. So we'll be adding those pictures to the uh, fake projector section where you'll get a chance to see the screen being painted, our product, and showing the results, what's gonna to happen. To anyone who uses that projector and you buy our screen paint, that's gonna to, to happen. I told people, look, at the end of the day, Mr. Bird has bills to pay just like everybody else. But I will lose 500, 700, whatever I gotta lose at the end of the day, I'm not gonna sell you something that's not gonna work on a product. If it's not gonna work, it's not gonna work. Because at the end of the day, this costs Mr. Bird money. You know how it costs Mr. Bird money? Because Mr. Bird has to design an entire different product to ship to the customer to fix the problem, plus pay for shipping, plus pay for supplies and everything, to ship out a whole new product to that customer so they can make the screen watchable.
because they didn't read the information at the bottom. Now, the reason why I'm doing this for this particular individual, because he's a good person. I mean, it's, everybody's a good person today. Well, I can't really say that, to be honest. With you. I'm not going to go on the topic. Let's move on. But anyway, as I said before, you know what I mean? Because I've talked to him a while. We've had a few conversations on the phone. I got to know this guy. He's a really cool dude. Not a problem. But if you don't read through this stuff, at the end of the day, we're not responsible for you, responsible for this happening to your screen. You have to read through those policies. That's why I have them there. That's why I tell you that when you go to sites, and I'm not to basically to kick anybody down, why I'm not to trying to uh, beat a dead horse to death, you know what I mean? This is why I explain to you crystal clear when you go to websites that the information is vital, that all that information is on there. If you have very little information on the product, how do you know how it's going to trigger? I'm not going to go down that road. I'm literally not going to go down that road today, but definitely it should be. But anyway, you know what I'm talking about. So like I said, knockoff projectors don't work. I don't care if you spend, some people buy these projectors right here. Now these are the dinkies. We call these the dinkies. These projectors cost you like 30, 40, 100 bucks. When you start reaching 400, 500, it's still a little dinky, but when you start reaching something like 2,000, $3,000, you're talking about an extremely expensive projector now. So <laughs> keep in mind, I mean, the projector, the bow master, bow maker has pixel shifting technology. Again, with the pixel shifting technology, why do you people buy Pixel shifting. Why? Why? It's not 4K. What are you thinking? It's not 4K, literally. It's like me basically going out and getting a car, getting a kit to make it look like a Lamborghini. This is a Lamborghini, but technically it's not a Lamborghini. It looks like a Lamborghini, but it doesn't perform like a Lamborghini. There you go. Stop buying those projectors. You know why they buy them? I'll tell you what. The 150 inch. That's why they buy them. Because the projector says it does 150 inch. Oh, wow. Are you kidding me? I got a projector sitting on my floor. It's a Sony. It's older than that thing. My Sony is like 2014, 2013, somewhere in that range. I got a 148-inch screen sitting downstairs with no problem, no distortion. can have my lights on, can watch the whole entire thing. 150, 100, 148 on my screen downstairs. So if I can do that with a 720p Sony projector, how much more you can do that by just getting an Optima GT 5500, 5600, Go get the P2 projector, the Epson projector, any one of those projectors, and pull it back. That's all you have to do. And boom, you got your screen size. Because where his projector was sitting at, he had to pull back to max him up to 150 inches. That's all you have to do. We've done tons of demonstrations. I have a projector right now. I did a demonstration on an Optima GT 5500 outside people. Not inside. Outside. At 140 inches. You think about that. And people are inside the house trying to get a projector to operate at 150 inches in the dark. And we're outside at 140 inches on the Optima GT 5500. Guess how much that projector cost me? $1,300. Guess how much money people pay for these projectors? 31, 31 to 33 to 3400 dollars Are you kidding me? For a pixel shifting projector? You lost your mind at the end of the day? Come on. And just go and buy yourself a real 4K projector and just pull it back. Use our technology. You'll get that screen size. You know why you don't get that green screen size on a gray or white screen? Because a gray or white screen is already having problems, having complications, picking up on 100 to 100 inch screen. That's why you're calibrating them because they don't pick up color and they don't pick up contrast correctly. Nothing wrong with the projector. The screen is dumbing down your projector. So if you can't pick up at 100 to 120 inch and you can't pull a star field in a fully lit environment without the screen washing out or fading, if you can't pick up proper color and you find yourself majority in the dark with that projector, therefore it is your screen's problem and not the projector. If I can take an old projector behind me that was discontinued in 2012, and I'm pretty sure there's upgrade models of this projector way beyond its projector's capabilities, but yet we can sit here and we could do demonstrations on what this projector couldn't do many years ago and do demonstrations much better than newer projectors than this projector itself. There you go. Sorry, people going through a lecture, man. Sorry, but hey, it had to be said. All right. So that's why we use old projectors. If I can make that projector look incredible, then why in the world would I go out and spend all this money for an overpriced projector to begin with? You know, why do you spend the money for the overpriced projector? Because the screen is not functioning. That's why. That's why. Contrast level start failing. You buy a better contrast for your projector. Let's go hook up the PS4 to this real quick right now. We're going to have this hooked up. But some people, at the end of the day, some people don't know. Now, I'm not saying everybody knows this. You have some people who basically will buy a projector and don't know. They're buying a projector for the first time. That's why they need to get a lot of these knockoff projectors off the market altogether. But, like I said, you got companies like eBay and, 
Amazon and all those different companies are going to sit there and say, oh, we don't support the fraud. Yeah, well, guess what? You have fraud on your sites because these projectors are lying. They're not doing what they're supposed to do. Again, my projector sitting here is supposed to be 15,000 lumens 8K. Oh, I forgot to say about the 8K part. Yeah, it's supposed to be 8K. And it's not. It's nowhere near it. Yeah, some people, they buy they buy one, they get a projector and they buy it and they think it's because it has all these bells and whistles attached to it, they think at the end of the day, this thing's going to do what it's supposed to do. It's not. All right, people, look, I got to come out of here because I'm going to be forever in a day talking about this and we got to keep this on the rear over here that we have. All right, let's get back to the acoustic screen. Yes, the acoustic screen is front and rear technology. You have to use it at also short though for rear, using fully the environments. You've seen the demonstrations. We got one downstairs playing right now. I'm gonna get ready to lock, lock, come out of here. I gotta come back in. We're gonna talk about these fake projectors because I got mine set up. We're gonna hook up with the fire stick, see what we get. All right, gotta go. Thank you all. God bless.